Hi there, I'm Shaz Middleton from White Line Transport here in Adelaide. I've been asked by the ATA to just give an overview of how I found the HVNL process as one of the expert panel members. My role as I saw it was to be here for grassroots trucking, to talk about what it's like trying to live with the current rules and regulations as a driver, as an owner or operator in rural and remote Australia, and to get the message back through the panel to the National Transport Commission about the current issues that we have with the law and what we'd like to see fixed up in the new law so that we can all operate safely and efficiently. The key message that kept coming back to me is that fatigue is the major issue. It's about needing to rest when you need to rest and work when you're rested. And that's a big difference, not just about counting time. And I'd have to say that that was one of the biggest things that I found in talking to all operators. In my role, in between meetings, this was some of the bedtime reading I used to do. As each of the papers were released, it was up to the panel to read the papers and then report back to the National Transport Commission about what we found about the content. My other role, was to attend as many meetings as I could around Australia to talk about operators, not just in the area of transport that I know and understand through my 37 years, but also to understand the challenges for the livestock industry, for the furniture industry, for the wharf industry, for the people that are in Tasmania that have shipping involved and have road connections as well. It was about trying to understand all forms of industry, what their problems were, so that when there was discussion about how we think a HVNL might look in the future, there was some real log logistical realities of how we've all got to operate. In terms of where we're at now, which is called the RIS, a fancy name for Regulatory Impact Statement Process, that's about looking at how the reforms that are being proposed might impact on how we all operate. Here's the thing, lots of people will have the ability to have a say about the RIS. People that might necessarily have a full understanding of the trucking industry and what our challenges are. So here's my thing to you. All of you as operators must use the ATA and its member organisations to relay what the logistical realities are so that the people that are working in the CEO roles and the research staff that are within these associations can go about and translate what you need to have happen into reality in the new law and how it might look. I can't emphasise how important that is, is to have your say. So please use the avenues that are open to you through your state-based associations and the ATA to have your say.